Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this case, a huge profit. Um, we are gonna be talking about plush or stuffed animals that sell for huge money. Some of these thousands of dollars. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. And what I did is I did a deep dig into eBay and I looked for those top selling plush, the ones that were going for crazy money. But I'm not only gonna show it to you, I'm gonna prove to you that it sold for that much money. Are you guys ready to get started here? I'm not gonna be able to tell you where they got it or what they paid for it, but I am gonna tell you that you need to be looking for these plush and stuffed animals when you are outsourcing. Now, I do get from a lot of people Plush, it takes forever to sell. I can't sell anything for more than $15. And yes, there are tons and tons of plush out there that sell for $15 or less. But there are the, the some, like these, that just go for crazy money. And these are the ones that, you know, we get so excited to find. Are we going to find them? Who knows? Are they hard to find? Yeah, that's why they go for so much money. But by watching this video, you are going to know what to look for. The first item we're gonna start with, if you're a regular, you have seen this one before because I shared this one in my realistic plush bolos, plush that sell for big money that are realistic looking, okay? Now, this one's a repeat, but I had to share it for those of you that are new. It is FAO Schwartz Realistic Wolf Lot. The This is a Toys R Us exclusive and there's two of them here and this sold for $1,000 dollars on ebay now you're like no it didn't sell for that i'm like yeah it did let me show you here's the feedback adorable plush wolves in beautiful condition very happy with my purchase thank you and this is the feedback so i'm gonna prove it i'm gonna prove to you guys that these sold for crazy money this is a build a bear bossy mustang horse and somebody recently shared that they found one of these in my bolo buddies facebook group and this is my facebook group uh definitely go join if you haven't already but i'm wondering if this was his or if this is someone else's the mustang is definitely a build aware to be on the lookout for i also have a whole video on build a bear plush to look for so definitely check that out this sold on auction for one thousand one dollar and the buyer paid shipping and there was also feedback left on this one. It says, thank you, perfect. So a lot of the items I look at, there's no feedback. I will sometimes go in and see if uh, they have relisted the item. I will look at the, if it's an auction, how many uh, feedback the buyer had. Those are all good indicators of whether or not the item actually sold. But feedback is the best indicator to know if the item sold or not. Because there are a lot of items that go unpaid. I'll be honest with you. So when I do these research videos, I dig a little deeper and find out for sure that they sold. This one is an octopus in a sailor costume. Um, plush Rushton toy doll. Now, I recently did a video on Rushton and the octopus is definitely one to look for and it comes in many different colors, many different styles. So go check out my Rushton video also. This guy right here sold for $1,825 on auction plus shipping. And you can see right here, it says item is the best. Great shipping, packing, thank you. Almost $2,000 for a stuffed animal. That's crazy. But you think that's crazy? Check this out. Rare Douglas Black Angora Cat Plush Stuffed Animal. And it says 2022.1 Angus. I don't know what that means. If that's like the number on the tag, maybe. I just don't understand this one at all. This sold for $5,550. $5,550. It's a rare one. It's a rare one. It's a rare. It says feedback. Very happy with my plush Douglas cat. He's the cutest thing ever. He is perfect in perfect condition and such a super nice seller. 
Thank you so much. $5,550. Of course it was a super nice seller. Oh my goodness, are you kidding? <laughs> the next item is this rare 1940s Originals Mary Thought 15 inch pumpkin head or pump pumpkin head stuffed mohair jointed bear. This is what it looks like. It sold for, I think this one was a best offer. Let me check here. No, it's the next one that was the best offer. $1,850 for this one. Now, they also sold this guy, and he didn't sell for $1,000, okay? He only sold for $800. And it's another Mary Thought Pumpkin Head Stuffed Mohair Bear. So this one's a little bit different. Didn't go for as much, but still, $800, are you kidding me? Um, that one, you can see there is a line through it. So what I did is I went over to Terapeak. I typed in the title. I actually cut and pasted it because I'm not going to take the time to type it in. And it pulled up what the item actually sold for. So definitely use Terapeak to search actual sold prices. So the feedback for both of these, the one that sold for $1,850, pleasure to deal with, great item, excellent communication, packaged very well, and shipped quickly. Highly recommend. And it looks like the same person bought the one for $800 and they wrote the same thing. So both of these items sold to one buyer. This one right here is a vintage gunned 14 inch Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer plush from 1939 in the box. In the box. That's incredible. $909.40. This was an auction. How cool is that? And this thing is cool. It's gunned. Gunned for $909. Great eBayer. A, 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 plus, 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 plus. Super fast shipping. A Care Bear. Okay. I don't know about you, but I usually just toss the Care Bears to the side. Never again will I toss one of these to the side. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. But this one does have a different look to it. So if I saw this, first thing I would think is vintage. I've never seen it before. I might put this one in my cart. But the standard Care Bears, I have a tendency to just toss them to the side. I remember in one of my Goodwill Bins videos, everybody's like, why'd you skip the Care Bears? And I'm like, I don't know. But anyway, this is a 1983 Maverick Tender Bear with Carolot Kids tummy belly emblem. It is large and it is rare. And when they say large, it looks like it's about 14 inches. So it's not super big. This thing sold for $1,200. $1,200. Wow. And it says cares a lot kids on the um, belly. And the feedback says, love this bear. He is so super cute and adorable. He is an excellent and most prized addition to my collection. He was packaged with the utmost care and shipped out very fast. Excellent five-star seller with amazing service. I'm a repeat customer for, for life. Many thanks again. So another positive feedback. This one right here. Okay, the staging on this one, I know, like, I'm a white background girl, but, man, they pulled it off. I love it. It's a seven-inch little girl's dog coin purse made in Germany. You guys, look at this dog. It sold for $1,453, and you got to see the back where it's the actual purse opens. This is so cute. This sold for $1,453, and the feedback says, wonderful item, Thanks very much. This next item is a 1931 rare vintage Mickey Mouse plush Disney by Stife. If you don't know the brand Stife, you should definitely get to know it. Most of the time it has a tag pinned in its ear. I don't see that on this one. Um, but this sold for $1,900. And there's a photograph in the second one. Huh. Huh. I don't know what that means. Oh, it says, also found a 1931 picture of Bella Lugios holding a bog felt Mickey. I wonder if that came with it. Huh. That is crazy. Wow. Okay, so $1,900 for this one. And it says, item was as described. Thanks. 
The next item is this large 1950s Rushton Star Creations Rubber Face Bunny Rabbit Doll. Rushton, big money bolo. So many of them go for big money. Not always thousands of dollars like this one, but big money. This one sold for $2,295. Uh, the buyer paid shipping. Re uh, received safely and well-packed. Great vintage rare item. Thank you. I mean, people collect these Rushton seriously look at this next one oh, so cute it's a 1930s small stife sitting sealy ham dog with ids so for 2323.99 item as described great packaging good communication the next item is this rushton star creations goldie fish Sold for $3,259. Oh my goodness. How stinking cute is that? It is so cute. That one I could not find feedback on, but I did go into the seller's store and I could not find where they had listed it again. And typically with items like this, if it did not get paid for, it gets relisted. And there were 79 bids on this with the... Um, Top bidder, the winning bidder, had 968 feedback. So more than likely this got paid for. Here is another Care Bear, but this is a Care Bear cousin. Wow. Vintage Noble Heart Horse, 1986 Care Bear Cousin, $2,750 plus shipping. Unbelievable. Great fast shipping. It came much earlier than originally estimated. Thank you. Great condition and great packaging. $2,600 for a Care Bear. Wow. This one did not sell for as much, but the reason I'm going to share this is because we all know about, we all know about the Coogie brand sweaters, you know, the crazy wild sweaters. Did you know that they made stuffed animals? Because I sure did not. And I found this one and I'm like, they make stuffed animals. Do not feed before travel. And it's a, it's a stuffed animal guys. And this sold for nine, it says 997.69, but it's crossed through. So I had to go over to Terapeak and they took a best offer of $500 on this. And it says fantastic seller, awesome vintage Kugi stuffed animal frog plush, hundred percent pure new wool, big 30 inch size rare 90s. He is awesome. Thanks. So they repeated the title in um, their feedback, but absolutely amazing. Um, if you don't know about the Kugi sweaters, they are definitely a big money bolo. They are very wild. They stick out. You will know them if you see them, but if you don't know about them, go search eBay right now, C-O-O-G-I, high to low, and you're going to see these sweaters and you're going to know what to look for because they will stand out in a thrift store. But just so you you all know that have been resellers for a long time like me and had no clue, they also have plush stuffed animals. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. One thing I do recommend if you have enough room is to put plush and stuffed animals both in your title. I think those are both really important keywords for people searching on eBay and other platforms. Um, let me know in the comments which one did you not know about, which one surprised you the most, and let me know how you found the channel. If this is your first time here, say it's my first time here. If you made it to the end of the video, say I made it to the end of the video. And if you want to comment anything else, go right ahead because I've just given you like 25 things to comment. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. I'd never again will I cross. Uh,